What to do in Palermo, Sicily. The capital and largest city of Sicily, Palermo is set on the island's northwest coastline, overlooking the glittering waters of the Tyrrhenian Sea, with the mainland of Italy lying far off in the distance. Littered with impressive historical and cultural landmarks, this list of best things to do in Palermo should help you explore this fascinating city. 10. Palazzo Conte Federico. See map. Set right in the heart of the historic center, Palazzo Conte Federico is one of the oldest buildings in the whole of Palermo. Built atop and out of the ancient Punic city walls, the prestigious palace dates to the 12th century, with Arab and Norman architectural influences on show. Rebuilt and remodeled numerous times over the centuries, the well-preserved palace is now a popular tourist attraction in Palermo and is still the residence of the current Count and Countess Federico. 9. Capuchin Catacombs, see map. As captivating as they are creepy, the Capuchin Catacombs are a subterranean series of tunnels and passageways lined by the embalmed bodies of more than 8,000 former Palermitans. Between the 17th and 19th centuries, the Capuchin friars of the monastery above would preserve the bodies and place them in the cold catacombs below. 8. La Martorana. See map. Set on the south side of Piazza Bellini, Santa Maria della Mirolio is a lovely cathedral boasting arresting art and architecture. More commonly known as La Martorana, it was built in the 12th century and originally conceived to be a mosque. As such, pretty pillars and elegant arches are on show beneath a delightful domed cupola, while Baroque, Islamic, and Romanesque flourishes can be seen here and there. 7. Monte Pellegrino, see map. Rising dramatically in the distance, Monte Pellegrino lies to the north of the city overlooking Palermo Harbor. Described by Goethe as the most beautiful promontory in the world, the hulking mount towers 606 meters in height and offers plenty of outdoor recreation opportunities. It is very popular with locals and tourists, who come to enjoy its stunning scenery and peaceful hiking trails. 6. Chiesa del Gesù, see map. Built between 1564 and 1633, Chiesa del Gesù is one of the most important and impressive of Palermo's Baroque churches. While it suffered considerable damage during the Second World War, the church has since been painstakingly rebuilt and restored to its former glory. Beneath its lofty dome, you can now find sturdy marble columns, colorful stained glass windows, and a fantastic facade, as well as attractive cloisters and chapels. 5. Quattro Canti. See map. Officially known as Piazza Villiana, Quattro Canti is a beautiful Baroque square in the center of Palermo, at the intersection where Via Maqueda and Corso Vittorio Emanuele meet. Built in 1608, it is lined by four fetching facades that are semicircular and almost symmetrical in design. Each of these sports its own fountain and marble columns, as well as a statue of one of the four Spanish kings of Sicily and a sculpture of one of the patronesses of Palermo. 4. Spiaggia di Mondello, see map. Lying just 15 minutes to the north of Palermo's center is the idyllic white sand beach of Mondello, set in a scenic spot between the craggy cliffs of Monte Gallo and Monte Pellegrino. Once a small fishing village, Mondello became a popular tourist destination in the 19th century, with lovely Art Nouveau villas springing up along its sandy shores. This makes its seafront promenade a delight to amble along, with beautiful views to be enjoyed from its pier of the surrounding mounts and soothing Mediterranean Sea. 3. Teatro Massimo, see map. The largest opera house in Italy, Teatro Massimo dominates its surroundings with its sheer size, scale and splendor. Opened in 1897, it showcases an intriguing mix of ancient and classical Sicilian architectural styles, with colossal columns lining its neoclassical facade. While its elegant and opulent exterior certainly looks a treat, inside is just as impressive. Beautiful balconies and prettily painted ceilings overlook its awe-inspiring auditorium. 2. Norman Palace, see map. Currently home to Sicily's regional parliament, Palermo's Norman Palace is one of the oldest royal residences in Europe. Known as the Palazzo dei Normanni in Italian, it was built back in the 9th century for the Emir of Palermo. After the Normans conquered Sicily, the Arabian palace was transformed, with the incredible Capella Palatina and its beautiful Byzantine mosaics added by King Roger II. Exhibiting a magnificent mix of artistic and architectural styles, as well as lots of ancient artifacts, the Norman palace is a great place to visit if you want to learn more about Palermo and Sicily's rich history, culture and heritage. 1. Palermo Cathedral, see map. The most famous and photographed building in the city, Palermo Cathedral is a feast for the eyes, with fabulous features and astounding architecture wherever you look. Built atop an earlier Byzantine basilica, 
The sand-colored cathedral dates to 1185, with various alterations and additions having been made over the centuries. While its elegant arches and geometric designs look very Moorish in style, a gorgeous Gothic portal and rearing Renaissance clock tower can also be found alongside numerous cupolas and an imposing dome. Its interior is just as impressive, mosaics, sculptures and artworks coat its walls, which look down on monumental tombs of Sicilian monarchs.